fought in the Civil War. <laughs> Bridges or Lord McDonald's Reel. If you're in England right now, that'd be Lord McDonald's Reel in Ireland. That's how they still play it over there. So we call it leather britches. Supposedly, leather britches are what they also call dried beans. They used to split them and string them on lines, and when they dry, they dry like that, you know. So they call them leather britches because it's like leather dries stiff. Anybody got anything you'd like to hear, please? Don't play too many songs per se. I mean, you know, a lot of these tunes are songs, but as far as just uh, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, uh, we just there's a bunch of we just we just don't play. We should. Yeah. Annie Laurie and I some of those. Yeah. What? I married a barbara. Married a barbara. Oh, you did. Barbara Allen. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I married a barbara. 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 Yeah. Well,
Where are you all from? I said a St. Louis newspaper, one of the little headline they had was Pigs Swim at Boaz. <laughs> and I always wish I could have had a copy of that. <laughs> Which paper do you remember? Oh, no, I don't remember it. Uh, and I never saw it. Somebody said they saw it. It's had a relative lived in St. Louis. They said. Boy, you know, that was some, that was the darn thing. That on M, I guess, it goes down to Jamesville there. They washed that concrete slab down. That was something.
side of it. That's the uh, northerners. That's their team. Here's the, uh, if I can get through it. this music is we could sit here for an hour and play tunes that every soldier that fought out here would have recognized. He might not have had the same name for it, but he'd have recognized the melody. That's how old this music is. In fact, we could do it for Revolutionary. If Revolutionary War veterans are out here, we could play tunes, and every one of them would recognize these tunes. Because they're all three, four, and five hundred years old. At, at, from the first printed versions, that's what they know, or mention of them somewhere. Else. Here's an old tune, you hear it once yet, but it's an old, old tune called uh, Bill in the Low Ground. That's a survey. It's yeah. an old one. It's got a kind of a lonesome sound to it. Anybody else got anything they want to hear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, there's a hundred versions yeah. of tunes that I usually have to retune my fiddle. Maybe after a bit I'll do that. originally played on a horn pipe, a pipe made out of horn, and uh, usually for one person, just man who just took a notion he wanted to dance here, you know, we played for him. It wasn't really a, a square dance or a figure dance for several people played, but, but it's not too fast. <laughs> Thank you. 
great bump. Yeah. Put on your old gray bonnet and on Moonlight Bay, and then there's another one called uh, Dixie Blossoms we'll play, and they were all written by a guy named Percy Winrick that lived in Joplin, Missouri, around the turn of the century. He wrote a lot of ragtime tunes. We'll play this is Dixie Blossoms. This is another one.
that's the national oh, over the waves. Over the waves. That's the National Waltz of Mexico. And back in at the Louisiana Exposition in 19, 1898 or something, a Mexican band came from Monterey. A Mexican school teacher wrote that in 1898. And they were so popular they kept them. And that's Waltz. That was their favorite tune. That was their theme song. And it spread all the United States. And, it's, and I, that's probably the most played waltz in the world. If you can go to Europe, you'll hear Over the Waves. It's uh, everywhere you go, the fiddles play Over the Waves. Charlie's, which was a reference to Bonnie Prince Charles that the Jacobites threw out in 18, 1745 or so. That was their toast. Was when they toast, they'd say over, over their English Channel, in other words, because he fled to France. Here's 
too. Yeah. A lot of those tunes we can play just the medley, but after we play them, then you'd wish you hadn't asked for them. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't ever play them, and we'd be kind of rough on them. So Here's a tune called the Red Apple Rag. <laughs> Civil War tunes. <laughs> so, so we're supposed to be doing. Well, we'll play uh, an authentic one here. This really goes with the battlefield. There's a, there was a book published around the turn of the century, uh, Sparks from the Campfire, one of those narrative things where everybody gives the story that they had in the Civil War. And there's a lot of stuff in the Trans-Mississippi region, which was all this region here. And one of the stories is about the night before the Battle of Wilson Creek, a woman came to Lyon in Springfield and had her little boy with her. Probably. 11, 12, or 13 or so, and she was from East Tennessee, and her husband had fought with Forrest and, and had been killed or something, and so she had come to St. Louis to find her sister, and her sister wasn't there, so she came to Springfield. I guess somebody told her her sister was down here, and she couldn't find work. So uh, it's, it's kind of a bizarre story. So she asked if Lyon would hire her boy as drummer boy for, for his, one of his regiments while she tried to find work in town. You know, that's nice, send your kid into combat to <laughs> supplement your income, but I don't think they realized what this was all going to be about. And so uh, Lyon said, all right, and he brought, brought his fifer in. And the story says that the fifer, uh, that little boy had the drum, and he said he straightened up and he played the tune that, marching tune that he knew was the hardest for a drummer to follow, which was the Flowers of Edinburgh. 
and uh, that tune is still played in, in this region. You hear it a lot, we'll play it right now. It's called the Flyers, this is an old, old tune, Flyers of Edinburgh. Next day after the oh, also when the Iowa troops left town, they were singing the "Girl I Left Behind Me" in this in this story. So that's a tune you had a while ago, you know. And of course, they were got rid of, the Union troops got ready to leave the battlefield, and they heard somebody uh, tapping. Uh, uh, when they get together, not real, 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 real. assembly. Assembly, yeah. And so this one soldier went to find this little boy, and he found him laying with a dead Confederate soldier next to him, or something. And of course, the boy had lost both his legs or something. It's a real gruesome story and he died there, you know, so. But that's supposedly the story of that tune in its relation to this battlefield. Yeah. yeah, here's a pretty, here's a pretty Irish waltz that we thought it was Irish and everybody thinks it's Irish. Found out it was written by a guy that lived in Cleveland in 1867. <laughs> named William Shakespeare Hayes, but I think the medley is originally an Irish waltz. This is a real pretty waltz, Seamus O'Brien. That's some pretty words here. Thank you. 
Seamus O'Brien. I had messed it up. I can't daydream. <laughs> That's my trouble here. Tell you, there's uh, water I know and probably lemonade over there if anybody wants any. Are there any more chairs inside? Or? Okay. Hey, if, if y'all want to scoot in and get out of that sound, you're not going to worry yeah, us. Yeah, get in here, you. As long as we got where we can get up and run if somebody comes after us, why that's, that's all right. really a song it's uh, yeah that's that's it's probably not, we're not trying to keep in sync we're not we're not worrying we're we're just stretching this out you got were your grandfather in the civil war if he was we'll play a tune from your era for grandsons of civil war see yeah well maybe it was. play a little wildwood flower for you that's just one of the world's best Anything they think of? Turkey in the straw? Okay. One, that was written in 1867. Now we play you one that's written about 1835 called uh, Old Zip Coon. Old Zip Coon was a Davy Crockett type character, what they call frontier literature. And he had a lot of adventures. And this tune's called uh, Old Zip Coon. This is an ancestor of Turkey and the Straw. <laughs>
20 tunes that are almost exactly the same that have that rye straw. Pretty Polly and Drunkard's Hiccups, all those are all the same basic melody somewhere back in the, and that's the way with this uh, Turkey and the Straw. There's two or three other tunes sound almost like. Hey, here's another one that was written about 1830 and it hasn't changed a bit and you'll recognize Play Buffalo Gals. This hasn't changed a bit from you. Play a tune now that uh, don't recommend the name of it too much. It's called Whiskey Before Breakfast. <laughs> Doesn't go too Canadian thing. This is kind of fiddling, fiddling. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. This music, I'd say 90% of them don't read any music. And yet, I know fiddlers that, don't, that know 400 tunes. And I'll sit there and listen. Sometimes we'll sit and listen to some of these older fiddlers. I'm not pointing at you, I'm talking about these older fiddlers. And they'll, they'll sit there and they'll say, Remember old Uncle Johnny so and so played that tune? Played it a little differently. And they'll play through something and they'll put just a little tiny note. And maybe some of these guys can hardly read, even, you know. But it's all up here. It's just like the ballads and the storytelling and everything. It's, it's, uh, yeah, and they just know these tunes and tunes and tunes. It's just amazing. Yeah, I'll 
Tiana used to be the, when they finally got them, there wasn't any seconds at first. They, they didn't have any other instrument to second the fiddler. Because all this is a metronome, that's all I do, is help him keep time. Really. And uh, then the piano and the, pump, the little pump organs they used too, they had those, you know, because they could carry those, they were compact. And this didn't come along until around the Civil War. Oh, you do? Well, great. music is dance music. Everything we play, there's a dance for it, and they used to dance for it. That's the only reason the fiddle existed, was for, for dance music. And of course, everything is danceable in this type, in traditional fiddling. Now, not in contest fiddling. That's the difference. Uh, modern fiddling for these contests, you couldn't dance to it if you had to. Uh, but they don't, they're, they're, they're trying to change everything to make it flashier, see? It's a different type of fiddling than this. But, uh, We'll play a, lot, a bunch of different types of dances here. Kind of give you an idea. We'll get started here again. Mom and Dad tell us about one time whenever they cleared everything out of one room. Oh, yeah. You know, and they was putting their coats in on the uh, bed in the other room. And I was in there asleep about three or four months old. And Mom went in there to get sick about me, and I was covered, covered up, up under the coat. <laughs> Said it wondered and smothered me. We knew, oh, anybody from around Crane here? Not really, I don't know whether it was a, Glenn Rickman was a fiddler down there. He was a Missouri Pacific engineer and he became blind when he retired and everything, but he still, and he, he never took a date to a dance because uh, if a fight started, he wanted to get his fiddle out of there and not have to worry about the date. Because <laughs> one, the one time he took one, he forgot about her and there's a fight started and he went out the window and left her there. And he was all the way home before he realized he'd left. He said he'd gotten so much trouble over that he never took another date to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, we knew one over. Uh, you remember Jude Herndon? Did you ever know Jude? Uh, did you know Jude Herndon lived at Nixon? I've heard of him. Yeah, Jude. One time they thought their house was on fire, and he went out the window with his fiddle and left his wife inside. She, she never forgot that either. She probably never let him forget. No, oh no. The time Jude went out the window when the house was on fire and left Martha, in, I mean left Margaret in the house, <laughs> took his fiddle with him and left everything else. Could I ask you one Ago, you were talking about knowing music from yes. all the history on the past of the Civil War and the Revolutionary War. And well, these, you give concerts or something with those other... We guys? used to. We, we, used, we were on a tour for three years, Mid-America Arts Alliance, which was all through the Midwest, and then we also went east and west at different times, you know. And we have a regular concert we give where we take... Chrono chron chronologically, we take this music right down to oh, the like blues and stuff, that. you know. Yeah. About it, well, we kind of pulled off. It, to save... Peace at home. Yeah, we, <laughs> you could do this all the time, we'll you know. Play the fiddler get a divorce. I yeah, know. that was the, and he had a guitar player tailing along behind him too. So we kind of pulled off that circuit. You know. But it was a lot of fun. We really met a lot of. Fun. But I tell you one thing, we found we've got more music in this region right here than practically any other place. Now I'm sure in the Appalachians they do too, Kentucky. But most states don't have this type of uh, people music. In other words, like we do, where you can go. I could take you to a music party any night of the week, somewhere within. 75 miles of Springfield. There'd be in somebody's home. There'd be a music party going on. That's one thing we're losing. That's too bad because everybody participates. Everybody does something. Now everybody sits and listens. See, that's what bluegrass kind of did. You'll get five people playing on stage, and I like bluegrass, but everybody just becomes a listener. Then they don't they don't get up and dance or do anything anymore. I went down to the show then two or three weeks ago to their music festival. Oh yeah. And four days and nights down there. Oh, yeah. Well, tell you, a big one now, there'll be a big one if you like fiddle music. Uh, Compton Ridge is down here. It's, it's 265. That's the road past Silver Dollar City's road on 76. And that's the one that goes across the dam. And there's a place called Compton Ridge. It's a big campground. And twice a year, they have a fiddler's convention there. When's it going to be? It'll be 
you give me your name and address before you leave because I can't okay. remember that and I'll put you on their list and they'll mail it to you okay and let you know right. but the last they had one in May and they had over a hundred fiddlers there I never heard so much fiddle music in my life it just yeah. what day and night all the time well, I'm going to go to Conway next to the weekend to have bluegrass deal. Yeah. And then in September, October, I'm going up to Swank. Yeah, they have a big one up there, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want him on there? Yeah. Oh, he's good. Uh, I'll just, I'll just Are sign him. Are words to, uh, thank you very much. I don't love nobody. No, I don't okay. think so, really. It's, uh, it's a tune that's uh, played in a lot of different ways and, and in a lot of different keys. Yeah, I've, I've, got, I've taped the words to it. Yeah, you, there is. yeah, there's words to it. Yeah. Well, I told uh, from, from uh, Pittsburgh, Kansas. Bud Hunt sings it. Well, I, yeah, but he never did put it on record. I've taped him singing it. But there, yeah, that's the fact. A lot of these rag tunes are songs rather than just instrumental pieces, but they, uh... Well, I noticed you had the words of Seamus O'Brien on the first album. Uh-huh. Well, who's this one? Is that yours? Well, gosh. I'll tell you another thing about this music, and some of you, do. Well, including you, will know what I'm talking about. Uh, when I was a boy, 50, 55 years ago, you did, in certain localities you didn't play fiddle in. The fiddle was a, a devil's instrument. You know that. Yeah, I know. Just playing cards and dancing or the devil. Now you, they had what they call play parties. You've all heard of them. And it was nothing in the world but square dancing to singing. Yeah, it was perfectly all right to go to a play party and sing and do right and left and element left and all everything you do in square dancing. But if you'd shown up there with a fiddle, you'd been you. mm -hmm. thrown out. <laughs> yeah, my wife's family, cards were evil, except Pinochle and Pitch. That's okay, see. But all other card games were, were bad, you know. Pinochle and Rook. Pinochle and Rook it was. And they played Rook Flinch. with a vengeance for them. But, uh... Flinch was all right. Flinch, you said Flinch is all right. Yeah. Flinch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll play it for yeah, you. Yeah, we'll play it here in just a minute. Yeah. Yeah, that's my birthday song. Well, that was Lonnie Robertson's birthday, too, uh -huh. 8th of January. Yeah. We used to play it every, we always go over to his house yeah. when he was alive, and we played that on yeah. there. In fact, Barefoot Bob plays that on the 8th occasion with Thelma call over there. Did you know Thelma and Lonnie? Yeah. 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 Oh, he knew a lot of things. Oh, my goodness. We lost a lot of good old times in the last 10 years. Yeah. The box that he was going She's got, yeah, she's got a, if people like that, they ought to go over. She's got a bunch of old 45 that, of course, will never be done again. And she still had a few the last time I was over there, and people ought to buy those because they're, once they're gone, they're going to be gone. Jimmy <laughs> likes the town. Don't love nobody. We started it off with it, but he wasn't here. Thank you. 
Tennessee Wagner a while ago, and I said that was one of the most popular square dance tunes. Here's the other one that probably you'll hear played at more square dances than uh, uh, about five tunes they principally play at our square dances here. Sometimes that's because that's the only tunes the fiddlers know. So they, their stories back early days. See, the fiddler was the only entertainer our forefathers had in these hills. They were isolated. And they were lucky if they had one fiddler and if you knew two or three oh, tunes. Yeah, that's right. And they'd play, sometimes play all night, but play just one or two tunes. And uh, But the dancers don't care. You could put a machine out there. All they want is the beat. And they'll dance all night. You'll just have to, sometimes you just have to quit. Because square dancers are terrible. They just... They just don't quit. You know that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They play all night. They will. They, well, they do. They dance yeah. all night. A lot of times they'll. Uh, yeah. They takes breakfast before they go home. Yeah. They'll yeah. play Ragtime Annie. That's one of the real popular tunes. month the fiddle was voted the state instrument of Missouri yeah. and uh, oh, uh, yeah. the 25th of this month uh, is the formal uh, deal they're going to have at the uh, Truman building in uh, Jeff City where uh, they're going to have a lot of fiddlers from all over the state be there and what day will that be? 25th it's on a Wednesday I believe um, of, 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 no of August of this month yeah what date? why don't you all do a record of Missouri music Missouri fiddle music well, that's what those are. That's what those are. Okay. If we if we put them all on there, you'd have to have 50 records because there's yeah, there's thousands of tunes. Missouri record would sound well, it's that. really hard to say what's what's Missouri and and what isn't. I mean, there's certain tunes are played a lot in an area, but I, here one of the few there's just a few tunes that they say are Missouri tunes, but oh, I think they come from older hornpipes and it's just that fiddlers have made them popular in a particular area. There's one called uh, we'll play it in a minute called uh, Blue Mule. That's kind of, it's a square dance tune. It's real popular. Marmaduke's Hornpipe's another one named, named for General Marmaduke, you know. Missouri Waltz is a Missouri tune, that's for sure. We'll play that in a minute, too. Uh, very few of you ever heard yeah, the second the part of uh, Missouri off. Waltz. Is really, there's a second part to it they've left out. They don't play anymore, and it's really prettier, as pretty as the regular part of the, of the waltz. Well, and most of our people came from somewhere else. Oh, here. this is Tennessee, mostly in the Ozarks. It's all Tennessee, practically. Pardon mm -hmm. giving you a pen, mine's quit. So forth. Pardon me. <clears throat> Do you know the old military tune of Jerry Owens? No, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know. Well, I've sat down and played with Irish and Scottish yeah, fiddlers and played during the war. play these same tunes yeah. and not even have to change anything. Yeah. And that's it's amazing because this is all just from ear to ear to ear to ear for, gen for hundreds of years, you know. Yeah. What are we going to play now? Oh, what did I say? What are we going to play? Blue Mule. Blue Mule. Thank you. 
I was talking a while ago about there didn't used to have any seconds, you know. They didn't have anybody to help the fiddler keep time, and I'll show you one of the things they did. Now, this is a demonstration. I didn't do this. We, he didn't either, but we knew a lot of fiddlers that did when they were young or sat on their grandfather or uncle's lap. You heard of fiddlesticks. Of course, they used to use straw or knitting needles. Do you ever see them do this? I've never seen them do it for real, but it hurts me. We'll do that blue mule and show you what they used to do to help the fiddler. Usually be a young member of the family and it'd sit on the sit on the knee and uh, do this. Play that just real briefly here when you get a chance. Just briefly. But I forgot how to. sit there some of them had it they uh real loose they could really i've heard some records of some that were taped back in the 30s down in alabama and boy i mean they had a beat to them they could really it really sounded good i'm well, just kind of hitting and missing you just had one one fiddler he'd come to play for a dance and, and anybody could beat the beat for him uh, that's all they needed beating the strings or beating the straws they used they used knitting needles usually nowadays it's hard to find wooden knitting needles and most fiddlers don't like aluminum knitting needles banging on their <laughs> fiddles you know they don't do that anymore. What's this deal about bones? Yeah, there's still a lot of them do that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of them get pretty good with them. Yeah. I don't, I've, I've only seen them in recent, kind of like the dulcimer, lap dulcimer. I never saw a lap dulcimer until they started making them at Mountain View, you know, and now they act like they, everybody in the Ozarks played a lap dulcimer. Well, I never, I know one fellow that plays a dulcimer. A uh, guy lives at Richland, Bill Graves is his name, and his grandfather made him. And so he, he's the only authentic dulcimer player I know. All the others I think have learned in recent years. Revivalists, you call them. Uh-uh. Well, that's right. That's afraid to stick his neck out. I'll play something that you, anybody here from Texas? Uh, this is grandson of the Civil War. close to polka, same tempo, but as a quick step, which is almost the same tempo. We have probably one called Weidman's Quick Step. It's uh, about a polka tempo.
Missouri Waltz. I was talking about that a while ago. We'll play that second part that you, you seldom hear anymore. Where's your cannon? Oh, it's <laughs> Leave over it over there. The Go shoot it for us. <laughs> I always like to jump about three foot when you set that thing off. <laughs> now, I'm going to play. Here's a good square dance team called Coming Up the Pike. That's a good one.
class. Anybody can think anything they want to hear. What? What about the reel? Any, any one? What's the oh, reel? We'll play Sunday night reel. Well, he, he asked what the background of it was. Oh, background? Oh, well. Horn pipes came first, more or less. Like I've I played some of them since you've been here, I think. More a slower piece, and then a little bit faster with people got to having an organized dance, what we now grew into square dancing. But where several people and a caller calls and tells them what to do, you know, that's a reel. But now, are reels too? I know a lot of those seem to be Scottish songs. Oh, a lot of them. All of it now, though, see, is square dance tempo. They have they don't have the original tempo at all. They're all the same beat for square dance now. But the horn pipes, reels, and jigs, uh, we don't have any Irish jigs anymore that they dance to. They, they all know how to play them, but they don't dance to them. Sounds drifting all the way to Battlefield with this wind over there. <laughs> now, a dance they used to do in this part of the country, and they still do it in Nebraska and western Kansas and Colorado, where you have some middle European people, is a shottish. Did anybody ever see people shottish? It's a pretty dance, it really is, and we don't do it at all. Occasionally, a square dance is an older couple at, when they're between sets will get out and do a shottish. Yeah, yeah, out around Colby and uh, out in there. And in fact, the, some of the prettiest shottish dances I saw were by a couple from uh, Colby, Kansas, one time. And it was a tune that originated in Scotland back in the oh, 16, 1700s, and then they got tired of it and they went over to Europe, and the Germans took it over. And of course, Scottish is German for Scottish. And then it came back again to the British Isles, and then we kept the German name, but it's a real pretty dance. We'll play one called Doc Jessup Scottish. <laughs> You're off, on, you're off on Sunday night real shoddy time. You want to put something in between? I better. Come back to it. There. these tunes like that's Doc Jessup Shottish. Well, Doc Jessup was in Crane, Missouri, and so the fiddlers learned he played the tune, and he didn't know the name of it, so they just called it Doc Jessup Shottish. You got these tunes, it's some of the names, depending on which holler you were in, you know, there's one called Angus Camel, which is a Scottish tune. We don't play it, it's in a Scottish. And in Ozark County, they call it Agnes Camel. We heard a fiddler in Arkansas call it Angus Cattle. So you see, here, let's play, a, we'll play another waltz here, and this is this is a good, good one for a, a story. We knew a fiddler down in, uh, they up around Springdale and Fayetteville down that area. There was a guy named Cotton Combs. It was just as smooth a fiddler. He had a little problem, but he was a smooth, smooth fiddler. But he never heard a tune quite right. Uh, La Golandrina he called Golden Dreamer, which isn't bad. And uh, Durham's Bull he called Bull 
Bull Durham, didn't he? Uh -huh. <laughs> but he had another one. There's a real pretty waltz called the Westphalia Waltz. It's a German waltz, and he didn't hear that. And whenever he played, he'd say, I'll now play you the West Sedalia Waltz. <laughs> so we'll play you the West Sedalia Waltz. <laughs> play something faster, everybody's going to go to sleep. About to lose the first row right now. It's an NE2. Okay, here's Arkansas Trail. Okay, here, here's Arkansas Trail.
Who played? Uh, that Mississippi Sawyer is a, another, it's an old reel of some kind or a horn pipe, but uh, you, know what a, you know what a Sawyer is? That's a tree, float, a sunken tree, and, I, and a lot of people thought it meant somebody that saw it, so you got fiddlers that'll, while they're playing it, will make it sound like they're sawing wood or something, you know. Of course, it had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Have you won Mississippi Sawyer Soldier Joy? Yeah. youngsters around here don't realize what round dance is. Well, round dancing is just like you know of dance. Well, not now. They, they don't dance now. <laughs> I don't know what they do now, but square dancing was your first type of dancing, of course, and then they started this round dancing where two people touched each other and danced, you know, which was kind of evil with a lot of people. But there was a, so they had a lot of music that came along, of course, for what they call round dances, and one they call these blues, and it has nothing to do with Negro blues at all. I always called them honky tonk things. So we'll play one now called the rabbit foot blues. I always think of a beer stop somewhere along the highway with a couple in there. They used to pump, you know. Thank you. 
Napoleon Bonaparte, his retreat, I guess he retreated sometime. <laughs> see your mom every night. These are all authentic Civil War tunes now. We're really off on it. Gotta see your mom every night or don't see mom at all. This is a blue stand. <laughs> the A tunes. Now we're getting some real square dance music. A lot of square dance tunes are in A. Play uh, what the old timers call Gregle. Gray Eagle. They call it Gregle. Play Gregle, they always <laughs> Save for me. Okay. <laughs> 
Some of you remember this, maybe. Walsy used to, when he brought your girl to the dance and you danced with her the last dance and took her home. Supposedly. <laughs> three weeks and it's showing a long chord out here since we're up there here's a good texas tune for anybody that's from texas somewhere called beaumont rag see you baby thanks thanks so much
County break down. Anybody got any requests? Anybody think anything else? Say? Tennessee Wolves. Kiss me. Tennessee Wolves. Oh, Tennessee, yeah. yeah. Tennessee Wolves. Tennessee Wolves. Oh, yeah. I'll play Wagner in a minute. Now, this is not a newfangled finger nail, artificial <laughs> finger nail. I've got a split nail there, and I put a piece of tape on it. I'm not sure I'm going to popular tune requested. Mm -hmm. That Red Wing is. Because people had that on the old player piano rolls and the mm -hmm. earliest records, you know, were. I played at Silver Dollar City 
not lately, but I, we have some weekends lately. <coughs> I used to play there quite a little, and there's always a big crowd there, and always a moving crowd, you know. You do well if somebody listens to you three minutes. They move on, move on. And I, I have nothing against that tune, but I played it 100, 150 times. I know I played it 150 times. Every week I played it 150 times. One crowd had moved by, and here come another red wing. <laughs> Pardon? Not regularly, huh? Not now. You can have any more records? You no, I haven't made another. I, they, the company has got a tape and have had it quite a while. I don't know whether they're going to do it. Thank you. Yeah, See you thank later. you. Play Dubuque. We haven't played that in a long time. Here's Dubuque's horn pipe. It's another old horn pipe. Crusade at the Hall Town Baptist Church parking lot. I'll let you read it here. 
I don't have my glasses on anyway. Uh, it's the 16th to the 19th. Anyone wants to come? We've got four speakers. The first one, we don't know who's going to be there. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Dow was supposed to be there. Dow was supposed to be there, but he had something else to do. So, uh, anyone that wants to come, and it's going to be under stars. All we ask is you just bring your own lawn chair. Three, four nights, 16th of the night. Very good. Thank you. This is our fourth year of it. Oh, incidentally, I'll better announce something else, too. I'll get kicked out. Tomorrow is the 126th anniversary of the Mandel Wilson Day. And they'll have a, at 10 o'clock in the morning, they'll have some festivities out here, speakers, and I don't know what all I've got, what all they're going to have for at sure. The at the center, yeah. Yeah, at the center. Where you come in, down there. But that 126 years since the battle. 26 years ago, this was loaded with Confederate troops all through here. 16,000. 16, About 5,000 with guns. The others trailing along behind. Okay. Nowhere really here. We, we, we really pulled back out of all that we used to do. Uh, like we were saying, we want to stay married. And <laughs> you know, you could do this all the time around the country. You know. But uh, we, we did it for about five years and had a good time at it. That was enough. How are you? Fine. Are you back on a visit with the folks? Yes. We'll be down here for two, three weeks. Uh huh. Going home end of the month. Uh huh. You're not in Mexico anymore, are you? No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anybody on those records, any tune you want to hear, you know. Arkansas turn back. Yeah. Arkansas turn back. We do like we do like they used to do in the dime stores, you know, they had a woman come play the piano and if you picked up a piece of music you're interested in, you took it over remember and she played it for you, you know. So you say, We'll do that. If you say have a tune you don't know what it sounds like, well we'll play it for you. What am I gonna play? Arkansas, Arkansas turn back. This is probably an old old horn pipe, but renamed some, somebody renamed it down in Arkansas. <laughs>
try it a little bit. I'm not as butcher it. Good Ozark square dance team, play Polk County breakdown. Of course, it's Polk County, Carolina, isn't it? Tennessee. Tennessee. Again, now tomorrow is the 126th anniversary at the centers. We're at 10 o'clock in the morning, isn't it? The, the uh, commemoration starts. We'll have speakers and speakers, speakers. Okay. That that now yeah, that's right. If it stays like it has been, that'll that'll take care of that. Okay. What am I played? Three or four hundred am I played here? No, no, wait a minute. Let me think through something like that. Chicken reel? Chicken reel? You play chicken reel? Yeah. We haven't played that in a long time. D.
See you later. You okay. Thank, take care, Don. Thank you. Let's play, uh... interesting to always watch some of these teenage kids walk by and they look at us like from outer space, you know. <laughs> can't figure out exactly what this is we're doing here. You know. We're not amplified, you know, we don't have wild hair to eat or anything. I think it kind of mystifies them. Hair that way, first chance they get. Yeah. I think I'd look nice with that, don't you? Like, shave half your head, yeah. Huh? Mockingbird. Mockingbird. Just play it. No, that's Mockingbird. Hell, oh, Mockingbird. I'll try it. Listen, I, I, to, listen to the Mockingbird. I can't do anything fancy. We never do either. much about it. Woodpecker, that's about all we do. <laughs> stuff on it. Make the birds whistle and all that. I can do it. Anybody got anything? I think maybe. What? Yeah. Shame. Play that one. We play Shame. Since I goofed it a while ago. I'm uh, good. Thank you. That wasn't a spot. spot.
to be one, but I gotta go check cattle. Well, take nice care, buddy. Nice bag of cans. Thank you. It was great, though. It was great. Thank you. Thank you. Play, well, uh, there's another old, old tune, Fork It Deer. I haven't played that one yet. I'm run out. I used to have that thing. Pardon? Don't play old Joe Baker. Old Joe Clark. Old Joe Clark. Yeah. <laughs> old Bill Cheetah. Play old Bill Cheetah instead of old Joe Clark. Play old Bill Cheetah. He has old Joe Clark. Oh, old Joe Clark. <laughs>
shoulder door. You know what shoulder joy means? Payday. Oh, well, yeah, I'll know. Payday in the Army is shoulder joy.
Overtime, that's it. <laughs> you want to finish with the wall? So what's, what's the they, overtime for free? I don't know. <laughs> oh, what about we haven't played down home in a long time? That's a pretty wall. Or do you want to play wall safety? Yeah, that's all right. That's
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now I remember you the next time. <laughs> okay. That's how bad I've got. This town has gotten, it's gotten oh, yeah. so bad. It's all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now you really, you really enjoy because there's all types of fiddling. There's Texas fiddling, and there's Ozarks, oh, yeah. and there's a lot of Indian no, fiddling. There's a whole fish. And uh, just all kinds of styles, and there's no amplification. It's all fiddling. That's all. And there'll be fiddling. You don't like too big. Oh, that is what And I uh, just hope it doesn't oh, rain. Really outdoors, it's just been good. But last, well, the main day, you'd want to come with me, sir. And they have a big feast. Uh, they usually bring in a guy with a great big barbecue thing, and they barbecue a, a whole hog. And, uh, and it's just a lot of no drinking, no drinking, absolutely. You know, all contrary to all the stories you hear about drinking and this music, I see it anyway, I came over. Oh, yeah. Because most of us couldn't play. <laughs> anyway, but, uh,